everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to day two of the daily edit and today I'm doing one of my favourite videos to film of what I eat in a day. I'm hungry. I've got food on the brain. I'm probably going to try and desperately rush this introduction so I can eat something. Um, I like doing what I eat in a day, but I never really do one at the weekend. So I thought I would show you what we eat when we've got a little bit more time on our hands. Um, my friends are actually coming around this morning because we're doing some hen party planning. So I thought I would do a mini brunch platter. I don't know, that makes it sound fancier than it actually is. Um, but I'm putting together some brunch bits for them. Mark is very excited. He's like, I hope there's leftovers for me. There will be leftovers for him. Um, so I'm going to show you what we are having this morning, which to be honest, isn't what we would normally have at the weekend, but we do tend to take a little bit more time over breakfast. Like sometimes Mark will make pancakes. I'm trying to think of something else we eat for breakfast at the weekend, but quite honestly, it's it's just pancakes if we're feeling fancy or Cocoa Pops if we're not. Mm, I love Cocoa Pops. Um, but yeah, I thought I would show you that. Because we're eating, it's going to be like 10 o'clock by the time we eat. I'm not sure what we're going to do for lunch, I'm thinking we have some grated cheese that needs using up and I'm thinking of showing you my cheese and apple on toast recipe that is so tasty, sounds disgusting. It's either one of those things that you've already tried and you're with me and you're like, yep, yeah, that's absolutely incredible or you've never heard of it before and you're like, that sounds disgusting but I promise you it's so tasty. I'm gonna show you a few adjustments I do to this recipe that I saw online that really like take it to the next level and then this video is sponsored by HelloFresh and I'm gonna show you what we eat for dinner. I think we've got a dal for dinner tonight. So that's good, getting in the vegetables, hashtag balance and all that. Um, but yeah, first for breakfast, let me show you what I'm gonna make. This is like the star of the brunch show really there. <laughs> Frozen, like pre-made croissants and pan au chocolat and they are just delightful. They were an Instagram recommendation from my friend Liv. Um, these are like the mini ones, they're so cute. Um, these take slightly less time to cook so I'm gonna pull these out earlier. There's one for each of us, two extras, because I know that these are quite tiny. I've got loads of jams that we can have with these, like spreads, um, and then these obviously are just good on their own, so I'm just gonna pop these in the oven now. I can see your ankles. I wanted to make avocado toast, but like mini cute avocado toast, because everyone loves avocado toast, right? Right? Oh, am I, am I supposed to be this audience participation? Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. And also because they're small, they're just going to look really cute. Um, because I'm very lazy, I make my avocado smush on a chopping board. Um, I can't be bothered to put it into a bowl, so I'm just going to chop up my avocado. Actually, it's pretty right. So then I give it a rough chop. Don't mind it a little bit rough. Don't mind it a little bit chunky. Don't you love how I'm narrating avocado toast like it's a brand? It's a brand new thing that I've created. <laughs> I should probably get some toast on the go, shouldn't I? So I'm just gonna throw a couple of slices in and then I'll cut them up when they come out. And then for my smash, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of lime juice. Um, I would be fresh, but you know, it's a weekend. And then salt and pepper. Tangy, salty, creamy, delicious. And then that's uh, good to spread when I've got my mini avocado toast ready. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was just chop up some strawberries that we could have with our croissants and chocolate <laughs> and bread. Because you know, health. There you go. Strawberries are ready to go. Got some orange juice, some jams. I think my croissants are almost ready. And then I'm going to assemble some mini avocado toast. It's literally like a blogger's press event. <laughs> I feel like the avocado toast were perhaps a little bit <laughs> over the top. Could have just made like big toast with avocado on. But doesn't it look cute? I actually ended up having quite a lot. So the croissants are out, the pan is still in there. They've got another like three minutes left. But I'd say this is a pretty cute like hen planning brunch spread. It's the first time I've put on such a spread at the weekend. But I think it's really cute. Like if you had friends or guests staying, I feel like this like covers all bases, I feel like everyone would be happy with this, you know? So brunch went down an absolute treat. Everyone loved it. Um, I'm sorry, Sammy, the girl who's Hindu that we're planning. I'm so sorry you weren't here, but I promise you, we have planned you a kick ass Hindu. Also Hindu bachelorette, that's what we call them here in the UK. Um, so yeah, we're very excited about that. That is great news. 
I've also FaceTimed my sister in Cambodia. Isn't technology absolutely wild? Um, I realized that in yesterday's video. If you missed that, I'll link that up there for you, which was like a life update Q&A. I completely edited out the answer to a question where one of you lovely people had asked a question about my sister and her traveling and if she's doing okay. I asked the question and then completely edited out my answer. So it's a real cliffhanger. But here you go, you're back for part two. She's doing great. Um, she's been to Thailand, she's in Cambodia at the moment, she's going to Vietnam, I think tomorrow. Um, and then she's going to Laos, and I think I'm gonna meet her in Bali in April, which is so cool, because I wouldn't have seen her since Christmas. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see her. I miss her terribly, but she is having a wonderful time, which is so cool. Also, Bali recommendations, let me know, like any Airbnbs that you stayed in that are good, any places that you'd recommend, things to go and see and do and eat, all of that stuff, let me know. Drop me a message down in the comments. I'm so excited to have like a little sister vacation. I'm not sure we've ever been on holiday, just the two of us. I'm not sure that we have. Although all we really argue about is clothing. These days she's very cool and wears like tie-dye things, like big like trousers over the top. So I don't think she'd want to wear what I was wearing anyway. So I'm sure it'll be good. Anyway, I digress, lunchtime. I'm gonna make a recipe that I saw and um, someone I follow online, she's called Poppy. She's brilliant, she has these two twins and she was feeding her two twins this for lunch. I was like, oh, I think I wanna make that for myself one day. It's basically toast. Instead of just melting cheese on the top of it, you melt cheese mixed with apple. It's tastier than it sounds, if you think that it sounds gross. And I personally love it with like a teaspoon of whole grain mustard like stirred into the mix. It looks like mush, it's the texture of mush, but on top, it's, it's, it's like a cheese board. It's literally like having your cheese board on top of a piece of bread and eating it. I mean, I'm showing you how to make all the high-tech things today. Avocado on toast, cheese on toast. It's the weekend. First thing to grate, an apple. This is like quite a tiny little apple. I wouldn't say I'm gonna use all this. I think I'm only gonna do two slices of toast. Um, so you don't really need all of this, maybe just half and then you can just slice up the other half, have it as a nice little side accompaniment. Cornish quartz cheddar is my absolute jam, like one of my big loves of my life. You kind of want a two to one ratio, I'd say. Two parts cheese, one part apple, any big bits of cheese just chunk off, you just eat low. You could leave it here, you could put a bit of like pepper in it if you want, but I love whole grain mustard, whole grain mustard. I'm gonna put quite a big dollop in, that much. Oh, love it. Just adds a bit of a kick to the whole thing, really like helps with flavor. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so gross. Come on, are you, are you still with me here? I've just realized this is basically like the what I eat in a day at the weekend, the comfort food edition. <laughs> we've had croissants, we've had two rounds of toast. I'm gonna eat a whole bowl of dal later on. Like this, this is what the weekend is about. I'm not gonna lie, I've eaten a couple of mouthfuls of this uh, in the break whilst I was waiting for the bread, the bread to cook. And I've also eaten all the apple slices as well, oops. Here's where you've got to take it out. When it starts to get gold and brown on top, that is the good stuff. <laughs> it looks, so unappetizing, but I can promise you that this is like the lunchtime of champions, it really is. If you're watching this around lunchtime, actually screw that, around any meal time, make this, report back, let me know what you think, let's have a party in the comments. And um, you've probably got bread, you've probably got apples, you've probably got cheese, you might have whole grain mustard. Um, it's actually particularly good if you can find truffle mayonnaise, sometimes I dip it in that if I'm feeling really extra. It's just absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna go put my pajamas on and uh, do the cleaning and uh, chill out, it's Sunday. So it's dinner time, it's quarter past six, and Mark has been hungry since about quarter past three, so I think he is ready for this moment. And to be fair, I'm feeling quite peckish as well. The cheese and apple, like, toasty thing was delicious, but I'm feeling ready for dinner, and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh, I've been working with them now for, I think since about the middle of last year, and Mark and I are genuine customers and have been since August, and it is just fab. If you haven't heard of it, it's a recipe box subscription service. You get all of your ingredients delivered to you in a nice little paper bag and everything is in there. All the ingredients are in there. They're all in the exact amounts that you need and you basically can pick however many meals you want a week for up to four people. So we do the two person box and we do it three times a week. And that just works really well for us. And seeing as it's the weekend, our one normally comes on a Monday. And so it's the weekend, we've only got 
one left and it's this. It's the butternut squash dal with brown rice, ginger and turmeric. And this box just works so well for us because I love to cook, I love cooking at home, I love having people around, I really enjoy cooking Mark dinner, he likes cooking me dinner, we like cooking together. We never really cook together do we, we kind of like fight over who should cook. Yeah we do. <laughs> but ultimately I feel like meal planning can be a little bit like stressful sometimes and you're wanting to cook new things and not cook like old things all the time um, but you have to really think and sometimes you just don't have time for that. This is a really good way of making like cooking new different tasty meals um, without even having to think about it. I just go on the app. I've got the app on my phone. Um, I think there's like 14 dishes you can pick from each week. You can go on, you can look at the ingredients, you can look at how easy the recipes are, pick the however many you want for that week. I do three a week. And then they're delivered to your front door, like on a day that is good for you. The whole thing, completely genius. We've eaten so much less takeaway food. The amount that we've spent on food has dramatically decreased. And we've actually just found new fun dinners to do. We keep a proper binder of them. That's full of all of our HelloFresh favorites. These are the ones that we're like, yep, want to make that again. So this is what we're having tonight. Butternut squash dal with brown rice, ginger, and turmeric. And I feel like this continues on with like the Sunday weekend comfort food vibe. I'd never had dal until last year. Mark went to India and came back and literally wouldn't stop talking about it. And I feel like if you're trying to get into veggie food, it's a really good staple to master because it's so tasty, but also very, very filling. So we've got spinach, tomatoes, coriander, the devil's herb. I will not be having any of that. Mark will have it on his. White onion, green chili, turmeric, cumin, nigella seeds, a nice little thumb of ginger. And that is the good thing with this. You get exactly what you need. You've got no like weird leftovers that you have to shoehorn in to a meal later on in the week. So it's just the right amount. Vegetable stock, whole grain rice, red split lentils. I've just realized something. Um, it's called butternut squash dal. Might need this. <laughs> Today has been the most Sunday of Sundays. I have an urge to clean, an urge that I haven't had for quite honestly years, and I cleaned everywhere. I even cleaned in the oven. Um, Looks amazing. Thanks. Mm. I don't know what came over me. It actually felt great. I listened to the Hilo, I listened to Who Weekly. I had a wonderful time. Um, I'm gonna pop the diced butternut squash in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I put half of the ground cumin on top and then a bit of oil and a pinch of salt and pepper. So that is going in. So Mark is cutting up onion, ginger, Ginger's garlic. Out and the tomatoes. But it says to do the coriander, but like I said, we're not a fan, so I think we're just gonna like sprinkle that on top. We. Oui. <laughs> but I said I'm not a fan. You said we. Oui. Oh, did I? Mm. Oh, sorry. What is your favorite spice? Spice? Mm. I always like rosemary and thyme. Is that, oh, that's do herb. you? That's, that's herb, that's herb, that's spice, isn't it? I think I do have a favorite spice. Spice. Um, paprika. Yeah, how do you know? Smoked paprika. Oh, I love smoked paprika. Cinnamon. Okay, oh, no, not cinnamon. No, not cumin. cinnamon. I, reckon, I, think, I think cumin might be the one. Cumin is this one. Yeah, cumin. Cumin. Yeah, you're a cumin kind of guy. Yeah. Look at us working together as a team. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Tomatoes, chili, ginger, garlic. Oh god, I love garlic. How many cloves did you do? Did you, did you just do one? No. Oh good, okay, thank god. I put in three. Oh yes. Now I need to do 600 mil. Do you like my little, do you like my little leggings tuck that I've got going on? <laughs> did you see this? Oh. My attempt to be fashionable on a Sunday. <laughs> Tucking in my chunky knits and my leggings. I feel like this is the best bit with doll. You look at it at this point and you're just like, nah, that's soup. That's never gonna thicken, but you just wait. Give this bad boy 15 minutes, it's gonna look completely different. Look at the dal, it's thickened up so well. Um, I'm basically gonna put a whole bag of spinach in. Another reason why I like dal, I feel like you can really camouflage spinach. Wouldn't have a huge spinach lover. But when it's in there, you're getting your greens in, you can't really taste it too much. Once again, massive portions. I feel like it's an arm workout when I'm just lifting that one. So I put coriander on Mark's, not on mine. Um, but yeah, this style smells so, so, so good. 
Oh, Thanks. If you want to give HelloFresh a go, I've actually got a code. I'll put it on the screen now. Make it fresh, Anna. And if you use it, you get 50% off of your first and second HelloFresh boxes. There'll be a link in the description box. Check that out. Um, I just think it's an absolute bargain and also just very, very delicious. <laughs> I told you the portions are huge. You said that you were hungry. Maybe I'll half and keep the rest for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Verdict on the butternut squash dal. Delicious. It was so good, really easy and quick and convenient to make, but so tasty. Big love to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Like I mentioned, the code is down below. And I think that is pretty much all we're going to eat today. We're going to eat anything else? Unless your mum and dad have any cakes. This is the thing, we're actually going around to see my parents after this <laughs> and you, you never know with my mum, they they do love chocolates as well. It some, could be some like after dinner mint. There's always some peppermint creams there. My parents have a thing for peppermint creams, which to be quite frank, so do both of us. Yeah, so I'm that's a good thing. <laughs> so maybe we'll have a couple of after dinner mints, maybe there'll be like a homemade cake for my mum. If there is, I'll like take a picture of it now, Oof, whatever we eat. There you go. Thank you so much for watching the second instalment of the daily edit. There is so much more to come. Oh, thank you. Um, another 29 videos to be precise. I'm hoping to do like a meal prep video, like show you what I do at the start of a week to kind of prep for the week ahead. So if you're interested in that, let me know. That could be coming your way very soon. And then tomorrow is a February favorite that is beauty, skincare, books, the whole shebang, keep an eye out for that. Mark is trying to put things in the dishwasher so quietly. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon, bye. bye.